Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my decoration gift bag. So this little gift bag would be perfect for hanging on a tree um, or even having as a little favour at a table. It's teeny tiny. It's made from a sheet of six by six cardstock. And isn't it just so cute? And I just think it's so lovely. It shows you both sides of the DSP as well. Um, it's got a little bit of bling on with the brushed metallic cardstock, which you know me, I love my bit of bling. Um, and I think this is super cute. Like I said, you can stuff it with some little treats in there, hang it on a Christmas tree, have it at the table for your favours, anything, but it's cute. So I'm gonna show you how I made it. And it, like I said, it's really simple and it's from one sheet of six by six card at uh, DSP. So really, no waste. I'm gonna do it this way. So scoring tool where's that kidney here it is so six by six so 15.2 by 15.2 centimeters we're going to score one side at because it doesn't matter because it's all the same we're going to score one side at three quarters of an inch and four and a half inches which is two and 11.2 centimeters we're then going to rotate anti-clockwise and we're going to score at two, two and three quarters, four and three quarters, and five and a half. And in centimetres that will be five, seven, twelve and fourteen. Okay, fold and burnish those lovely score lines. When you do the... No, it's okay. I was having a moment then. When you do the wide... Um, so you've got all of these, all of these score lines that are clearly going to make your actual bag. When you do the other ones, so that one at the bottom, when you do this one at the top, which is the wider one, fold it the wrong way because this is where we're showing off the DSP. Okay, simple, simples. Grab some Seal Plus, put some on this end, so we've got our sort of thinner tabs here and then we've got a wide one here. Add a bit of adhesive there because when you fold this over and make your bag up, if you don't, you'll get the end, where is it, there, you'll get the end not sticking. So add a little bit there. Then get your scissors and on the bottom part here we're going to cut up those score lines there and just get rid and that is the only bit of scrap you have. Okay, you might want to just reinforce these score lines at the top now that you've folded that DSP over because it will just help when you come to putting this adhesive on in a second so just reinforce these parts here and then on this thin tab here we're going to add some adhesive I'm going to use my seal plus just because um, I just need it to be a little bit stronger and then we're going to fold that all up and why is that not lining up there might just be because of the um, paper that's been folded so I'm going to do it by hand instead do it this way there we go so that's that part of your bag created and then as you know where's the back that's the back so we'll put those in then we can just run some of our seal across the bottom there Again, get your bone folder inside and then I actually used, not my combo, here it is, I actually have a darning needle um, and I've just realised I don't have the trim but I need handy for this one so just let me dig in here and find it, there we go. Um, and I literally just got my um, 
ruler and my pencil and I measured one centimeter in from the sides and I kind of eyeballed it as one centimeter down that's not far off actually and the same again this side so I'm just going to put a little mark one centimeter in and then I just used my darner because I didn't want to use my hole punch because it's going to be too too big for the ribbon I'm using but I literally just like I said just used my this is going through in effect six pieces of DSP here so I'm being a bit more mindful with that one because it was the join um, so I've just literally just created my two holes with my darning needle and I'm not trying to be too uh, heavy handed with this I am just I'm not pushing it I'm just sort of letting the needle do the work and then I have the wonder of the season trim and I have a little bit here that I cut off actually and this just fits perfectly for me through that hole so I'm just going to tie a double knot in the end here and then make sure they stay together no they didn't that's just typical isn't it just when I thought I was there right tie that knot trim that end short and because I've used my darning needle it will just stay there and then I'm just going to use this end here and I'm just mindful of how long I want my handle so if it's on a decoration you might want it a little longer if it's just going to be there for the purpose of decoration if it's going on a table then probably don't need to be too long trim that one off there and that's my first handle on oh, that's quite a long one actually this time and then I'm gonna go with this one I'm leaving it on the reel this time tie the double knot in the end there and again there trim that end did I trim oh I did and then I'm gonna use my guesstimation skills here to trim that oops pop it through the other one and then again I need to make sure my handles loop the same so I need my knot to go there let's see how well this works we'll guess that's about right and then trim that end right what do we think oh look at that just perfect <laughs> right where's the back that's the back so just to decorate the front then so I've got my pine tree punch here some of the brushed metallic and this is from the beautiful autumn sweet took me a moment then I have already punched one out because when I was making the original I was going to have two trees but then it just looked too much so <laughs> I stuck with one um so yeah brushed metallic so I'm just going to stick that one on just there my whisper white here now do I to go with a green or a red tree questions questions I'm going to go with red you know let's be brave right so uh perfectly plaid stamp set a lovely i mean this is look at it i mean it's so well used isn't it i love it so i'm going to use my i can't remember i still don't know these letters d block so whoops so there's my pine tree so i'm going to stamp the tree itself there then remove that and get the bit that fills it in 
and I'm just going to stamp off onto that scrap there and then just, apologies if my head gets in short, just stamp in there. How lovely is that? And then while I've got this, I'm just going to go with the ho-ho-ho here as well. I'm actually, no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to be contraire and use the green. Use shaded spruce, I think, as my ho-ho-ho. go. Fabulous. So I just need to punch. These punches, seriously, if anybody is thinking, oh I've got green all over that. If anybody is thinking of starting crafting, um, purchasing craft supplies, the best way of doing it is to start with punches because they make, you, they take your crafting to another level and they are so easy to use. Um, they, they truly are and it's just you know it, there are so many punches available as well um, that you really do need to go and have a look so if you're thinking about it pop along to the shop or have a look at the other um, punches that we have available as I say they truly are wonderful and they just make things so much easier so much different right get rid of that and that Let's trim my little sentiment here. So just trim that down. There he is. And then I actually just stuck this down with, I don't want to use that one, but never mind, just over the top, just there. And there it is, my decoration gift box. Hope you like them. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you all again soon.